everyone, it's Bianca from the Stampin' Bee, and today I have for you a really cute little bag box thing. <laughs> I never know what to call these things. I guess it's like a little bag, and it's made with the um, 6x6 um, designer series paper. I can't remember what it's called. I'll have it on the screen. It goes with the Tropical Chic Bundle. This paper is beautiful. I love it. There's so many designs. They come out so pretty. I love it. You get so much, so much of this paper in a stack. This is, gosh, I feel like I barely used anything and I know I've used a lot and I still have so much left over. So you really got to get this paper. It totally matches the stamp set and that goes with the Tropical Chic stamp set which um, I'll be using as well as the thinlet dies that match and coordinate with these leaves and flowers and whatnot. So those I have already stamped and cut out so we can use them on this project today. So I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little box. It's really, really cute and simple. It'll hold some really good sweets. They're just so cute to be sit on a, on a table. They're just adorable. They stand up real nice. They look so, so pretty. All right, so let me show you how to do those. You have your design and series paper. You're actually going to cut this down um, to, it comes as a six by six, but it's gonna be six by four and a half. So I'm gonna show you where to score it. Again, everything will be on my site at thestampinabee.com. So you don't have to pause the video or anything. So on the six inch side, you're going to score it at two, two and three fourths, four and three fourths, and five and a half. Now these smaller sections here, it's completely optional, but you can score them um, down to about the three, three and a half inch mark. This is to get the side pieces right here so it'll fold nicely. If you don't do this, it'll still close up really nice. I believe this one I didn't do it and it's still closed up really, really nice. But this one I did. Same thing, same difference. So if you do want to add these little ones, it's going to be at um, two and three eighths. And you're going to just, like I said, go down to like the three inch mark about there. And five and one eighth again to the three inch mark there. Then you'll turn it and you'll score at three fourths. And that's on the four and a half inch side. All right, so let's burnish all these score lines here. You don't need to press down the, the little lines that we made. Um, they'll pretty much fold up on their own when we close the box. All right, so we're gonna start in the bottom corner and we're going to take out this little rectangle and then we're gonna notch in on this side and notch in the top. And then we're going to cut up all the score lines on the bottom. Very, very, very simple. All right, we're going to take some snail. Since it is DSP, you can use snail on this and it'll hold it just fine. Fold this over right there and you can already see it's forming. So this is the back, this is the front. So this will go in last. If you're going to put heavy treats in here, you might want to use like tear and tape or even glue will help. And then with these score lines you made, you just pinch them and then you have a nice closure right there. How simple that was. Perfect little treat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of my little clips and close it for me. And we're going to get some of the white Baker's twine. So I'm going to wrap it. You can see I wrapped it around several times over my bag. So I'll leave some hanging off for a bow. And I'll wrap one, two, three, and then 
cut it off here. There we go. And then let's try to get a little bow on here. Go to make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. Oops. I think there's glue on my scissors. Alright. So that'll hold it close for us. And then I have our flowers and leaves. So I'm going to put the leaf down flat. Oops. So I'm going to slide it up in here, and it's going to lay flat right there. I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of this flower. And before I put it on, I already stamped the For You. This is from the Itty Bitty Greetings. It comes um, in a two sets, so it's right here, the For You. And I stamped that in the Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to use my label punch to punch that out. And I'm going to make it about toward the end a little bit. It's okay if you don't whoops, use the whole piece. But then I'm going to take this point and put it back in there and line it up and create a diamond and then punch that off. That way it flags my end. Really, really cute. So I'm going to lay this one flat. Put it about there and then add my flower. Right by the bow. There we go. And it's a perfect little box. So these are so cute. I love how these came out. They are just absolutely adorable and they just would look so nice on a table. It makes everything so tropical. So again, everything is on my site, stampinbee.com, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!